I just wanted to talk you through how the cowl is constructed just so you have kind of the big picture. I think it makes it easier to knit something when you have an overall idea of how something is made. So we're going to cast on stitches at the bottom here and we work from the top down. So we're gonna knit garter stitch in the round for about seven inches. And then we're gonna go back and forth. We're gonna be knitting back and forth and decreasing one stitch at the beginning of every round until we get to two stitches left. And then we'll just slip, slip, knit and finish off. So the cowl's knit in the round and then it's knit flat back and forth, decreasing one stitch at the beginning of each row. Let's get started. I'm just gonna talk you through everything you need to make this garter stitch bandana cowl. You will need two skeins of Woolies Thick and Quick yarn. This is the color oatmeal and it has about 106 yards or 97 meters in one skein. So again, you'll need two of these. You will need a tape measure to measure the height of the cowl portion. You will need a tapestry needle to weave in your ends. You will need a stitch marker. You will need a US 17 12 millimeter 24 inch circular knitting needle. This is a US 17 12 millimeter 24 inch circular needle and scissors. You'll need some scissors. So that's everything you will need to make the cowl. All right, we've got our needle, we've got our yarn. We're gonna cast on 50 stitches using the long tail cast on method. And to make sure we have enough of a tail, I usually wrap my yarn around the needle around about 10 times, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, 10. And then I know that this is about as much yarn as I need to cast on 10 stitches. So we're casting on 50, so I'll continue. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, okay? So that's about as much yarn as I need to cast on 50 stitches. We're going to tie a slip knot and like that, and we're gonna place the slip knot on our needle, tighten it up a little bit, enough so we can move it back and forth, and we're gonna take that tail in front, and we are going to grab the yarn like this, and we're gonna start to cast on. We, uh, the slip, first slip knot counts as the first stitch. We're gonna turn our hand and go under the yarn, around the thumb, over the yarn, around the index finger, and pull through. Make sure you're not pulling too tight. You're gonna go under, over, pull through. That's three stitches. Under, over, pull through. Four. Under, over, pull through. Five. Under, over, pull through. Six. Under, over, pull through. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12. All right, so you're gonna continue casting on until you have 50 stitches. All right, so I've got 50 stitches cast on and we're gonna get ready to join in the round here. And before we join in the round, cast on one more stitch. We are gonna use that stitch to connect the sides together and we're gonna actually drop that stitch to connect it. So we've cast on 50, which is what the pattern calls for. We're gonna cast on one more, okay? So we have 51 stitches. Lay your work flat to make sure the stitches aren't twisted. All right, so when we connect it, we, um, the stitches won't be twisted. All right, so we are gonna now join in the round. You're going to take your right needle and slip the last stitch over on from the left hand needle to the right hand needle. Then you're going to take what was that last stitch on the right hand needle and pull it over that stitch we just moved over. And then you're gonna drop that stitch, that was that extra stitch, and kind of pull it tight a little bit, okay? So now we've connected our work and we've joined in the round. You can place your stitch marker on the needles now. This will denote the beginning and the end of the round. We are gonna start 
by completing garter stitch in the round. So we're gonna start with a purl row. I just like how that looks when we start with a purl row and when we have the cast on edge like this. So we're gonna just start by purling. And when you complete garter stitch in the round, you purl one round and then knit one round. Purl one round, knit one round. All right? So you're gonna just keep pushing the stitches across the needle. It can be a little tight initially on this needle, um, on this size needle. It'll be fine after the first couple rounds, but um, just keep pushing the stitches over um, and pulling them up as you go all the way around. So we're purling every stitch in this round. For those of you who are just beginning to knit, I just wanted to slow down the purl stitch so you can see it a little bit better. When you purl, you have the yarn in the front. You insert the needle like this into the stitch, okay? It's in the front of the work. You wrap the yarn around, whether or not you can hold it in your right hand or your left hand. I, I hold my needle in my left hand, and then you pull up, and so you're moving from the left hand needle over to the right hand needle. So I'll show you again slowly. You insert the needle in the front, insert the needle in the front of the work, yarn over, pull through. And again, it doesn't matter how you hold the yarn, you still just need to wrap the yarn over the needle and pull it off. All right, so that's how you purl. I just wanted to show you what it's looking like. I am nearing the end of that first round of purling. So we continue till we hit the stitch marker. And then when you hit the stitch marker, you slip the stitch marker and now we know we're at the end of the round. Whoop. Keep the stitch marker on your needles. All right, so when we, like I said, when we knit garter stitch in the round, it's purl, knit, purl, knit. Purl around, knit around, purl around, knit around. So, now we're gonna move the yarn to the back and we are simply going to knit around. And to knit around, you insert your needle into the stitch this way, wrap the yarn around, and pull through. Again, it doesn't matter which way you knit if you hold the yarn in your left hand or your right hand, you're still inserting the needle and pulling, wrapping the yarn over and pulling it through the stitch. All right, so this is garter stitch in the round. So you're gonna continue knitting this whole round, all of the way around. I'm nearing the end of my first knit round. I've got three stitch stitches left to knit. So we've just completed um, a knit round. So now it's time to slip the marker. And now we're gonna move the yarn in front and complete a purl round. So you are gonna continue purling around, knitting around, purling around, knitting around until the whole piece from the cast on edge measures seven inches. So keep going in this fashion until the whole thing measures about seven inches tall. One thing I just wanted to show you now that I've knit a few rounds is if you set the work down and come back, how to figure out if you should be, if you are on um, a knit row or a purl row. And I am actually on a purl row and the way I can figure that out is that you see the, the purl stitch kind of loop down here and the knit stitch up here. Since I've, I'm purling, you can see once I make a purl stitch, you see the loop is right up there. So if I were to set this work down and come back to it, I could see, okay, I need to purl because I see the knit stitch loop here. And then if it looks like this, you can tell I've just completed a purl, purling because that loop is right there. Anyway, just kind of a way to show you 
um, how to tell what round you're on if you set the work down. So I hope that helps. Now I'm to the point where I have completed garter stitch for about seven inches. And you're gonna wanna make sure at this point you finish the seven inches at the end of a purl row. That's very important because we wanna continue this garter stitch when we start to knit back and forth instead of in the round for the bandana portion. So we've completed the cowl portion, we've ended after a purl round, and now we're gonna start knitting the bandana portion. So I am just going to finish this purl round. All right, so I've completed the purl round. Now we are going to, and now you can actually slip off now you can slip off the stitch marker and we're going to bind off four stitches. So now we're done finish we're now we're done knitting in the round and we're going to knit back and forth. But first we're going to bind off four stitches and this allows for that little space in the back for the um, bandana to sit on. So we're going to bind off four stitches. So we knit a stitch, knit another stitch, and then slip that first stitch over the second stitch. We have bound off one stitch. Now we're gonna knit another stitch, slip that first stitch over. We have bound off two stitches and make sure you bind off kind of loosely here. And we're gonna do this again, knit another stitch, slip that stitch over. We've bound off three stitches. We're gonna do this one more time, knit a stitch, Slip that stitch over and drop it. So now we have bound off four stitches. So now we're just going to continue knitting till we get to this point. Okay? So just knit all the way around now till you get to that other end. So now I'm nearing the end of that knit row. And we know we're at the end because we see now we're, we've knit all the way around to where that gap is where we've bound off. All right, so now once we're done knitting, we're gonna turn the work because now we're just knitting back and forth instead of in the round. This is what I call the bandana round. We are going to just, we're gonna move the yarn in the back because we're gonna knit and we're just gonna be knitting from here on out. There's no more purling. So the bandana row, you slip the first stitch, just slip that off, and then we're gonna do a slip, slip, knit. So, and this is us decreasing a stitch, okay? Slip a stitch, slip a stitch, and then we're gonna knit those two stitches together. So we've decreased one stitch. And now you simply just knit to the end. So I'm nearing the end of that first bandana round or row. So I knit to the end. Now we just flip the work, move the yarn to the back, and repeat the same thing. And that is you slip a stitch and then it's slip, slip, knit. Slip, slip, knit. So we've de now we're decreasing a stitch on this side. So the pattern just calls for decreasing at the beginning of each row. So now we just simply knit to the end. And you continue the same pattern of slipping a sli stitch, slip, 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 knit, and knit to the end, and you turn the work. And just keep repeating that. And you're slowly going to be decreasing a stitch on either side. So I'm going to continue on in this fashion, and I will meet you back here 
once I've continued this for a little bit so you can see how the decreases start to shape up. I just wanted to take a second to show you what the bandana portion starts to look like after you continue knitting it for a while. So you'll start to see that there are decreases now on both sides. So we're gonna keep going until there are two stitches left. So we're gonna keep that same repeat um, and it'll gradually get longer and thinner as we continue reducing the stitches at the beginning of each row. So continue on until you have two stitches left. All right, I just wanted to show you what to do when you run out of yarn on your first skein. So you're gonna wanna join the second skein by placing the new piece of yarn this way and the old piece of yarn this way. And we are just going to knit three or four stitches with both pieces of yarn. And then, Um, once you are done knitting a few stitches, you just drop that strand of the old yarn and you just continue knitting with the new strand. And that way you've basically woven in that new strand and you won't even tell that the stitches doubled up there. So that's one way to join yarn. All right, I just wanna show you how it's looking and we have four stitches left, and I'll just show you how to finish off here. Um, you're gonna continue with that slip one, slip, slip, knit, and knit to the end, and this, in which case, it's just one stitch. We're gonna flip the work. And then we're gonna slip one, Slip, slip, knit. Now we only have two stitches left. Turn the work again, and now we're just going to simply slip, slip, knit. Slip, slip, knit. All right, so now you're gonna wanna cut the yarn And leave a tail so you can weave it in and now you're just gonna pull the yarn through and you have completed the bandana cowl now it's just time to weave in the ends and so to weave in the ends you take your tapestry needle Weave your yarn through the needle. And then you can take your, I'm just bringing the yarn through to the inside. And now you can just kind of weave the yarn through some stitches here. Follow the stitches up. And back down a little bit here. And then you simply just snip the yarn. And I just wanted to show you on the inside too where I joined that yarn. Since we knit the stitches together, you can just snip, snip the yarn. And then you can just weave in this last piece, how we did the first piece. And your cowl is complete.